Hello, this is Dave Myers with Paper Trail Financial. Today I have a video that demonstrates a method of using the profit and loss statement generated by QuickBooks to examine the effects of changes in revenues on net income. I'm going to go to the report menu and create the profit and loss statement. I want to make a couple of modifications. When I use the fiscal year to date, we have only 50 weeks of results, so I'm going to alter the date so we have 52 weeks. I also want to add the percent of income column. And I'll hit the export button to open this in Excel. First, I want to do some cleanup. I'll go to the Page Layout tab and make the spreadsheet fit to one page in case I want to print it out. I'll resize the columns to remove the hash marks, and I don't need the date and time information. To make room for additional columns, merge the first six columns to consolidate the row headers. This makes the row headings easier to match up with the corresponding data. To remove the borders, I'll use the Format Painter. Just click the Format Painter once and highlight a column. Make sure to use a source cell that doesn't have a border. Do each column separately. That way you don't end up changing dollars to percentages or vice versa. The dates in the header are a little awkward, so I'll change the header to just say annual. I'm going to create three additional columns, so I'll resize the adjacent cells. I'll toggle the columns what if for the new scenarios. And let's add some cell styles. Let's also change the style of the input cells. In order to estimate expenses, I'll rely on the percentage of income column from the last year. I'll multiply our estimated total revenue by the expense percentage. For this row, the formula for the estimated expense is I9 multiplied by H12. But I want to be able to use the formula for all the remaining expense rows. We can do this by using a mixed cell reference. When I put the cursor next to I9 and press F4, I can toggle between the options. A dollar sign left of the 9 keeps the formula in that row. I'll do the same for H12, except I'll put the dollar sign next to the H to make sure that the percentage of income column is always used when I autofill to the right. Now I can give the cell a number format, autofill to the right, and autofill down. I won't double click autofill so it won't overwrite the total row. Now I'll give some cell styles to the total row. and I'll copy the dollars total and paste special in the first what if column using only the formula. Now I can autofill and format those cells. I want to start at the top and make adjustments to the expenses. Specifically, I want to try and identify the operating expenses that aren't fixed and won't change when revenues fluctuate. For example, car lease I can copy across and make the expense fixed. Let's also assume registration is fixed, contributions will be fixed, um, we'll make dues and subscriptions fixed. There's four insurance expenses which we can make fixed. I'll make uh, maintenance janitorial fixed. How about uh, office equipment will fix as an expense. And the big one down here, rent, is a fixed expense, we'll assume. And just a couple more. 
computer repairs and utilities for our assumptions regarding expenses that are fixed. Okay, now that everything is set up, let's create the scenarios. We'll try a 3% uh, increase in revenues, a 5% increase, and a 5% decrease. To calculate a 3% increase, I'll multiply 1.03 times annual revenues. For 5%, it's 1.05 times annual revenues. And for the 5% decrease, it's 0.95 times revenues. Because I already formatted the cells with the formulas, the expense data automatically populates when the input cells are used. Below the total row, I'll calculate the dollar change from each scenario by subtracting the scenario total from the actual total. Now I'll autofill to the right and format the numbers to show negatives in red. I'll scroll back up to the top. I can put the cursor in row 10, go to the view tab, and choose freeze panes. Now the top rows remain at the top of the screen while I scroll up or down through the profit and loss statement. Now because the formulas were created with mixed cell references, it's easy to add additional scenario columns. We can highlight and autofill to the right the header and input cells. For this column, I'll assume a 10% increase in revenues. So we'll say it's equal to 1.1 times annual revenues. I'll autofill the first expense cell to the right and then pull it down to the total row. I can drag the total cell to the right and I can do the same for the change cell. With the upper rows frozen, it's easy to compare gross revenues with net income for each scenario.